Hello guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, we are going to learn how to make cooldowns that actually tell you how much time is remaining. Um, now, right here, I have the random teleport plugin from a few episodes ago. I made a couple of very minor changes, mostly just adding spaces to make it more readable. Uh, so you could either go ahead and type all of this out, or just grab it from the description, um, and just delete all of the stuff that we go ahead and add right now. So, we're actually going to make this so that rather than just tell the player that they need to wait, we're going to actually tell them how much time. Now, um, a lot of times with teleportation, unless you're a staff member or perhaps a contributor, you don't want people to be allowed to teleport, you know, as many times as they want, ten times a minute. Uh, that would be a bit overkill and it could lag the server. So, we're going to implement a cooldown that requires you to wait for a couple of seconds in between uses. So, what we are going to go ahead and do, the first thing that we want to do is, under the random, we're going to declare a private hash map player integer, um, we'll call this cooldown, it's like that. Now, a hash map is basically, it's a collection, and it uses a key and value um, what's the word? You, it works with keys and values. So basically, you when you first put it in, you give it a key and a value, then when you want to get the value, you give it a key and it will return the value. In this case, we're going to store all of the players that are um, in the cooldown, and for each one, we're going to store the number of seconds that is remaining before they are allowed to use the command again. So. What we're going to want to do is, before, uh, right after we check to make sure it's the correct command, but before we actually do any of the work, we want to make sure that they're not in the cooldown. So the first thing we want to do is, we're going to say, um, we're going to make an on enable, and we're just going to say cool down is equal to new hash map player integer. Uh, you technically could do it up here but it's generally bad practice. And then we're also just going to say r is equal to new random. We'll just do it right there. And remember, that's called when the server starts, so we just go ahead and instantiate these when the server starts, and then um, we'll use them on command. So we're going to say, um, well, first of all, if cooldown.contains key p, so, if the player is registered in the cooldown, all we really want to do here is say p.sendMessage chatColor.red, and then we're going to say you must wait for, uh, and then cooldown.get p seconds. Oops, seconds. So, um, oh, oops, it's supposed to be plus. So, we're um, saying you must wait for blank seconds, and here we are using the get method, we're giving it the key, which is the player, and we're getting out an integer, which is the amount of time remaining, and then of course we need to say return true. Um, so that's of course the easy part, but now after we teleport them, now we want to actually add them. So we're going to say uh, cooldown dot add dot put, rather, uh, P, and then let's say that we want to put this at 5 seconds, and we're just going to go ahead and use 5 for just number of seconds. Um, and then we are going to say bucket.getscheduler.scheduleSync repeating task for this uh, new runnable, and we'll do that in a minute. Um, the first long, I think, is going to be zero, unless, hang on one second, I believe that's going to be zero, and then this is going to be 20 times 5. It might actually be the other way around, so let's just try it like this. And we're doing, you know, 20 ticks times 5 seconds. 
public void uh, run and we are going to say cooldown dot put p cooldown dot get for p minus one and we need to make player final and then we are going to say and we're actually going to write final and task id is equal to that and then we should be able to say um, if cooldown dot get for p is equal to zero bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot cancel task for task id and that might not work i did not think so so actually right here uh, let's see how do we want to go about doing this hang on one second guys alright so I did a little bit of digging and looking around and as you can see it took me a few minutes but I was able to figure it out and I did make a couple of large modifications to the code so let me just explain what I did so um, I renamed the cooldown with the integer uh, player and integer to cooldown time and then I made another hash map with player and bucket runnable called cooldown task the bucket runnable is a of course a bucket class that basically represents a task and it contains some useful methods like cancel and run task timer so I decided to use that I of course instantiated both of them in the on enable which is very important uh, anytime cooldown showed up I changed it to be cooldown time now here's where it gets interesting um, right after I put uh, for cooldown time I put it in at starting at five seconds then, and cooldown task, I put in a new bucket runnable. Here's our run method. That was debug line. And what it does is it basically puts for player whatever the player had, and then it subtracts one from it. If the cooldown time for the player is equal to zero, so we let it change first, and now if it's equal to zero, we want to remove the player from the time and the task, so it'll clear everything out from them, and then we want to cancel the task, which is very important, or else it will continue to run, and actually that would be, that would be a problem. That would cause some null pointer exceptions, and it would be really annoying, so you need to cancel it. Then, finally, after it's all set up, I get the cooldown task that I just put in, and I call the run task timer method on it, which, as you can see, um, takes the plugin, the delay, which I set at one second or twenty ticks, because I want it to wait a second before it starts counting down, or else it'll immediately count remove one and uh, be at four, and then the period uh, is where the delay basically is. 20. So it waits for 20 seconds and then it goes every, it waits for 20 ticks or one second, then it goes every one tick or uh, one second. So let me just go ahead and export this. And I already have Minecraft open because I was doing some debugging. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it out. So if I go ahead and do RTP, you will see that it teleports to me because I'm the only player on the server. But as you can see, if I continually spam RTP, it will actually tell me four seconds and then three and then one. So if I do it again, it'll let me do it. Five, four, three, three, two, one. And then I can actually do it. So it does uh, successfully work and it will tell you exactly how many seconds you have left um, until uh, you can use the RTP command. So that's all for this video. I know that this was highly requested. A uh, bunch of people requested this. Uh, so your cooldowns, instead of just giving a generic, you know, hold on message, you can actually tell them how long they have to wait before the cooldown expires. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon with the next video. Bye, guys.